Please stay tuned after our feature presentation for a preview of a new show from the makers of Bob the Builder. Premiering on Nick Jr. this fall, splash into a world of imaginary play as the rubber dubbers hit the preschool scene. Coming to a bathtub near you. Well, this is swimming! Okay, team, we have an emergency job to do. Great! What is it, Bob? We have to fix a broken water pipe. If we don't, people won't have any water to make tea. Or take a bath when they get home from work. No baths? Great! <laughs> Not everybody likes being as mucky as you, Muck. We'll need one of those pipes, some traffic cones, and my pneumatic drill. Mr. Bentley is going to need us there, Bob. Okay, Wendy. Scoop, Muck, and Lofty, you can come with us now. All right, everybody. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Yeah, I think so. Hello, Spud. What are you doing? <sighs> I don't have anything to do, Travis. Of course you do, Spud. You're a scarecrow. You should be in Farmer Pickle's field, scaring crows. Oh, that's what I do every day. I want to do something different. Hey, Travis, want to play a game? I can't, Spud. I've got lots of jobs to do for Farmer Pickles. I don't have time to play. Oh, see? Everybody has something interesting to do except Spud. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Bob. Hello, Wendy. Goodness, that was quick. Here's the key for the stopcock. Great. Thanks, Mr. Bentley. Now, let's see. Phase one. Turn off the water. But how can we do that, Bob? The water's underground. Don't worry, Scoop. There's a special faucet so the water can be turned off to make repairs. Hmm. And it should be around here somewhere. Here it is, Bob. Good job, Wendy. That should do it. Phase one complete. Hmm. 
What's this? And this! They must belong to Bob. I'd better take them back to the yard. Ugh. He will be pleased. Oh, no, no! <laughs> Wendy, what happened to the water? I thought I turned it off. Oh, so did I, Bob. Oh, Spud, that's a stopcock key. You're turning it on and off. The water's going everywhere. What water? <laughs> oh, that water. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Spud. I'll have to go back and change into some dry clothes. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay, Mr. Bentley. Spud, didn't you see the warning sign? Sorry, Wendy. I was only trying to help. Uh, there. How's that now, Bob? Okay, Wendy. The water stopped. All right, Lofty. Let's get the broken pipe out of the way. Uh, all right, Bob. Now, please, Spud, try not to cause any more trouble. Yes, Wendy. Sorry, Wendy. Look, Wendy, Mr. Bentley's forgotten his clipboard. Mm. Hello, Scoop. Hello, Muck. You were gone for ages. We had to go to the dump to get rid of the old concrete. Bob and Wendy will be ready for you to pour the new concrete now. Great! It's time to rock and roll! Hello, Spud. Are you still looking for something to do? No, Travis. I'm very busy. I have a very important job. And what's that, then? Can't you see? I'm, um, I'm checking things off. Oh, you mean like Mr. Bentley, the building inspector? Yes. That's right, just like Mr. Bentley. <laughs> I'm Spud, the building inspector. Well, I can't see any buildings that need inspecting around here. That's why I'm going to go and find some right now. Bye, Travis. <laughs> oh, dear. I fitted the new pipe, Wendy. Now, all we need is... Here we are, Bob. <laughs> right on time, too, Dizzy. Can you fill that hole with some cement, please? Okay, Bob. Let's rock and roll! Good job, everybody. Time to go home. Oh, what about the traffic cones, Bob? I'm going to leave them here until the cement is dry, Lofty. We can come back for them later. Ah, Bob. Hello, Mr. Bentley. That was a quick change. Oh, yes, Bob. I always keep a spare suit at City Hall. In case of emergencies, you know. Well, the job's all done, and the cement is setting nicely. That's great, Bob. I can always count on you. I'll just sign off on this job. Oh, no! Where's my clipboard? Maybe you left it at City Hall. No, I don't think so. The last time I remember having it was when that scarecrow soaked me. Then it must be around here somewhere. I'll help you look for it, Mr. Bentley. Wendy, you and the others can go home. We won't be long. Okay, Bob. Good luck. One roof, check. Four walls, check. One door, check. <laughs> Being a building inspector is easy. Phase one complete. <laughs> Hello, Farmer Pickles. You haven't seen a clipboard lying around anywhere, have you? No, I haven't. But I found this stuck to Scruffy's kennel. Oh, well, that's one of my job sheets. Then your clipboard can't be too far away. Come on. Hello, Spud. Are you inspecting Farmer Pickles' barn? That's right, Travis. Some of this wood is very old, you know. Spud? And let's just test this. Spud? I don't think that's a very good idea. Whoa. One barn failed inspection. Uh-oh, Farmer Pickles won't be very happy. I'm going, Travis. Lots more buildings to inspect. <laughs> Hello, Travis. I wonder if you've seen... My barn! Look at it! Oh, 
What's been going on, Travis? It was Spud. That Scarecrow. I should have known. We'd better find him before he does any more damage. Which way did he go, Travis? Toward town. Said he had some buildings to inspect. Ah. Ho-ho! Oh, those codes aren't much fun. All in straight lines like that. I bet I can make them look much more interesting. <laughs> huh? uh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, there's my clipboard. My traffic cone. Spud, what are you doing? That's fresh cement. Uh, yes, Bob. I know, Bob. I'm stuck, Bob. Yes, I can see that. I'll try to get you out. There you go, Spud. Now you're unstuck. Thanks, Bob. Oh, oh no. My feet are all covered with cement. And we can't let you walk around making a mess. Come on, Spud. Hmm? I know how we can get the cement off. Oh no, oh no, 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 there's no need to. No, no. Oh, that's cold. Oh. <laughs> One scarecrow rescued. Oh, yes, Bob. Very good, Bob. One scarecrow rescued. Check. Oh. Oh. Ow! Watch out for the Bob Farmer pickles. That's everything loaded. All right, Bob. We're off to put up the new sign at the crossroads. Okay, Wendy. Ready, Lofty? Ready, Dizzy? Can we build it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go! Hi! Hey, Bob. What are we doing today? Well, Muck, I'll need you to help me put up a new porch at Mrs. Broadbent's house. But first, we've got to wait for Travis to come and pick up this pile of gravel. Uh, left, uh, uh, forward. <laughs> and here he is. And stop. <gasps> Travis and Spud at your service. <laughs> Hello, Spud. Hiya, Travis. What's the job, Bob? Well, Farmer Pickles needs this gravel to resurface his yard. So Scoop will help you load it into the trailer, then Travis can take it to the farm. Aw, is that all? Not very exciting, is it? Okay, Scoop, can I leave you in charge? Muck and I are off to Mrs. Broadbent's. No prob, Bob. See ya. Move it, move it. Come on. Okay. Okay, now then. Uh, the plans show that the sign should go up uh, here. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Oh, uh, <laughs> Wendy. How high is the sign going to be? We'll need your crane to measure that, Lofty. Oh, oh, uh, okay, Wendy. All right, uh, stop there, Lofty. Oh, wow, it's really tall. Okay, time to start digging. Ah, I'm fed up with this. Hey, Dizzy's football. Watch me score a goal. Oh. Oops, look what you've done, Spud. Oh, Dizzy will go crazy if she finds out we've lost her soccer ball. How are we gonna get it down? Uh, maybe we should wait until Bob gets back. I know, wait there. <laughs> there. That's everything, Mrs. Broadbent. I just need to grab my toolbox and I can get started. Oh, how exciting. Oh, phew. Oh, now that should be deep enough. The support is knocked in with this sledgehammer, and it holds a sign in place. Stand back, everyone! Sledgehammer at work! <laughs> Watch this! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it wasn't funny. Is it time for a break? I'm hungry. No, Spud. Travis has to take the gravel to the farm first. Aw, do we have to? I'm too weak. I need food. Come on, Spud. Easy does it, Lofty. Uh, uh, a little bit more. Uh, uh, That's uh. it. Oh, now, how does it look, Dizzy? <laughs> It's leaning over this way. Uh, how's that? That's it. Uh, but there's still something wrong with it, Wendy. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, silly me. It's facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, Bob. Oh, the porch looks wonderful. It's very kind of you. My pleasure, Mrs. Broadbent. Now, here's a couple of homemade apple pies as a thank you. One for you and one for Wendy. Oh, oh. great. Now, they're a little bit overcooked, but they'll be delicious with some ice cream. Thank you, Mrs. Broadbent. Just terrific. Oh, oh, my, Muck. I think Mrs. Broadbent must have used cement instead of flour. <laughs> oh, Bob, you've done a wonderful job. <laughs> oh, now why don't you stay for some tea and cookies? I baked them just for you. Oh, uh, no, thank you, Mrs. Broadbent. I'm, uh, very, very busy today, and I got to go and see how Wendy's doing. Bye. Oh, bye, Bob. And thank you. Good work, Lofty, and good work, Dizzy. You've both done a great job. Come on, Travis. Faster, faster. I can't go any faster. The trailer's very heavy. I know, Travis. I'll unhook the trailer so you can have a rest. <sighs> No, Spud! Don't! There you are, Travis. You'll soon be... <laughs> oh, Run away, oh. trailer! Oh, no! Oh, Quick, Spud. after him! Ah, Everyone. Hey, Bob! Look at our new sign! It's very nice, Dizzy. Hi, Bob. All right, Dizzy. You and Lofty can go now. I'll get a ride back to the yard with Muck. Oh, uh, oh, okay, Wendy. Bye. And see you later, Bob. Goodbye! I've got a present for you, Wendy. Oh, really, Bob? Apple pies from Mrs. Broadbent. They're a little overcooked, though. Oh, oh, no. Oh. What was that? It sounded like Spud. Oh. 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 It is Spud in Travis's trailer. Get out of the way! And he's heading straight for the sign. Quick, Wendy, you take this pie. Oh, I see. Yes. Ready, Wendy? One, two, three. Are you all right, Spud? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. <laughs> I wasn't scared at all. Uh, what happened? Spud was trying to help Travis. He was feeling tired, so I unhooked his trailer. What's wrong with that? Well, I just got into the top of the hill. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, well. No harm done. Hey, come on, everyone. 
Let's go home for lunch. Hey, did you say lunch? Oh, I'm starving. Has anyone got anything to eat? Ha <laughs> ha! How about this? You'll be great with a scoop of ice cream. <laughs> Good morning, team. Okay, we have lots of work to do at the Bentley's new house. Oh, yeah. They're moving in today, aren't they, Bob? That's right, Scoop. We have to load up that window and all this lumber. No prob, Bob. Yeah! Okay, Bob. Yeah. Uh? Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's good to see you wide awake so bright and early. I don't feel wide awake, Wendy. Oh, oh that's all right, Roly. We don't need you today, so I guess you can sleep in. Oh, okay, Wendy. Thanks. All right, team. Let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Bentley. Mrs. Bentley? Oh, hi, Bob. Are you on your way to our new house? There's a lot of work to do there. It's all right, Mr. Bentley. Everything's under control. That's just what I've been telling him, Bob. But he does worry, <laughs> don't you, Bernard? It's, uh, it's better to be organized, you know. Anyway, I can't stop. I have lots of inspecting to do before the movers arrive. Um, didn't you forget something? Forget something? Mm -hmm. I don't think I so. I found this on the kitchen table. Ooh. Oh, 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 yes, my clipboard. Thank you, dear. Oh, that's all right. Now get going. I still have some things to pack, Bob, but I'll be over later. All right, Mrs. Bentley. See you later. All right, team, let's get started. We've got a lot to do. Uh, what's our job here, Bob? We're going to turn the Bentley's attic into a new bedroom. It's even going to have its own shower. Oh, wow. Ah, that reminds me. I better go and turn the water off before we put in the shower. All right, Scoop. It's time to unload the lumber and start work on the new floor. Here you are, Wendy. Wendy, I brought a thermos of tea and some cookies. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Bentley. You think of everything. Did somebody say tea? Thought you might like some, Bob. How's it going? Really well. The floor is finished, and I'm about to start working on the window. That's our phone. I wonder who could be calling us at our new house. Those cookies look good. Mm. Oh, no. Is there anything you can do? Oh, well, yeah, I see. What's the matter, Mrs. Bentley? The moving company. They just called to say they've got a lot of people off with the flu and can't come until next week. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, oh, no! no. Oh. That's bad news. I know. Why don't we move your things, Mrs. Bentley? Oh, that's very kind, Bob, but you still have so much to do here. Don't worry, Mrs. Bentley. I can take Scoop and Dizzy over to your old house now. Then Lofty and Muck can join us as soon as they finish helping Bob. Okay, Wendy, great idea. Those boxes can go first, Scoop. No prob, Wendy. What can I carry, Wendy? How about, um, ah, Mr. Bentley's golf clubs. <laughs> hey, brilliant. Careful with those boxes, Scoop. Okay, Wendy. Hmm. One drain, no blockages. Check. Whee! Gosh, <laughs> what was that? Oh, well, never mind. <clears throat> Band hole cover replaced. Check. Hmm? Left a little lofty. That's it. Here you are, Miss Stumbly. Thank you, Dizzy. And thanks, Scoop. That was quick. Come on, Scoop. I'll race you back. Fits perfectly. Good job, Lofty. <laughs> thanks, Bob. Can we go and help Wendy now, Bob? Yes, you can, Muck. All right. Come on, Lofty. Let's catch up with the others. Oh, oh OK. Rip. 
red man means don't cross? Check. And green man means it's safe to cross. Check. School crosswalk in full working order. Check. Good job, Lofty. You can take the sofa. Yay! This is fun! Come on, Lofty! Uh, okay, Muck. Whoa, 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 Muck! Slow down, Muck! <laughs> We're back, Wendy! Oh, it's brilliant being moving machines. Bob's finished the ceiling of the attic, and now he's putting in the tiles for the shower. Goodness, he is working fast. Uh, take this mattress, please, Scoop. And, um, uh, uh, you can take this, Dizzy. Okay, Wendy! Flying sofas? Oh, I must be seeing things. We're back, Mrs. Bentley! Oh, yes, you are. There aren't many boxes left now. I'll go and get them. All inspections completed on time. Check. Guess it's time for me to go meet the movers. <laughs> Ready, Wendy? Ready, Scoop. Huh? What, where, where'd everything go? Oh, my. I'm sure it was your lamp. It went that way. Oh, call, 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 call the police. Someone's taken all our things. Mrs. Potts saw our sofa flying down the street, and Mr. Dixon said... No, calm down, dear. Everything's fine. The moving company couldn't make it, so Wendy and her team moved our things for us. Yeah! It was brilliant! Oh, oh, really? Oh, well, thank you, everybody. But what about the attic? All done, Mr. Bentley, just like you said. It's good to be organized. <laughs> good job, Bob. You look a little tired, dear. Why don't you have a nice long shower and cool down? You know, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, moving furniture is really exciting. It'd be fun to do it every day. <laughs> oh, once is enough for me, Dizzy dear. <laughs> okay, team. It's time to go home. Uh, Bob, don't you have one more job to do? I don't think so. Oh, yes. You're right, Wendy. Turn the water back on. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. What seems to be the problem here? Oh, no, no, don't! Oh, no, oh, turn it off! Oh, oh, Mr. Bentley! Oh, dear! <laughs> don't worry, Bernard, dear. At least we know the shower works. Okay, let's go to Mr. Beasley's vegetable patch. What's the job, Bob? We're going to take down his old potting shed. I'll need you to clear the site, Scoop. What about me, Bob? You'll be mixing the concrete to make a base for his new shed, Dizzy. Oh, goody! Oh, Bob, JJ rang to say Skip's on his way to Mr. Beasley's. Thanks, Wendy. And I'll pick up the materials for the new shed when I finish the paperwork. Come on, team. We better get going. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! Morning, Mr. Beasley. Oh, hello, Bob. I thought I'd just get this old chest out of the way before you start. Phew. It's been really handy for my odds and ends, but I don't need it now. I'll have plenty of shelves in my new shed, won't I? You certainly will, Mr. Beasley. Are you sure you don't want it? No, Bob. You can throw it in the trash. Okay, Mr. Beasley. Hmm. That reminds me. 
I wonder where Skip's gotten to. Oh, wow! It's a wobbler! <laughs> well, uh, guess I'll be going, Bob. Okay, Mr. Beasley. Hi, Bob. Ah, oh, Skip. Where have you been? Oh, um, I saw a warbler. It sounded like this. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Skip. But we have work to do. Can you unload your dumpster right there? Okay, Bob. All right, everyone. It's spring cleaning day. Trix, I want you to tidy up those pallets at the end of the yard. Okie dokie. And Molly, you can collect up the junk to go to the dump. No problem, Dad. What are you going to do? <laughs> I shall be sorting out all the old paperwork. Dad, what about this old thing? My chest? Oh, we can't throw that away. But it's falling apart. You never know when it might come in handy. Ah, there you are, Skip. You took a long time. Well, there was this warble, you see, and... Uh, <laughs> he can tell me all about it later. I have my paperwork to do. Okay, come on, Mox. We have to go to JJ's to pick up the materials for the shed. Okay, Wendy. There. That's that. Hello, JJ. It's Bob. The dumpster's full, so can you send Skip to take it away? Oh, great. Okay, Dizzy, you can start mixing now. Yippee! Molly, can you go pick up Bob's dumpster? They're closing early at the dump, and, well, you know how Skip dawdles. Oh, okay, Dad. Uh, Skip? Hello? JJ? Sorry, Wendy. I, uh, I'm just sorting out my paperwork. I have a new filing system, see? Come and have a look. Well, uh, I'm in kind of a hurry. Bob's waiting for those materials. Sorry, Wendy. <laughs> Come on, let's get you fixed up. Hello, you two. There you go. It's all ready for you. Thanks, Bob. Oh, look! What a nice old chest. I know, Skip. That's what I said to Mr. Beasley, but he doesn't want it anymore. Well, if it's gotta go, it's gotta go. Come on, Skip. Let's get you loaded up. I've got all the wood to size, just like Bob asked. Hold on. Let me find somewhere to put these. Ah, just the thing. They'll be safe in there for now. So, where was I? Easy, Skip. And... down. We'll get going now, Bob. Okay. Bye, you two. Hup. Ah, thanks a lot, JJ. <laughs> See you later. Now, back to my filing. Oh, I nearly forgot. I need some more folders. Oh, I better run down to the store. Do we have to throw this chest away, Molly? Afraid so, Skip. We already have Dad's old one cluttering up the yard. We don't need another one. But this one's better, isn't it? You're right, Skip. Tell you what. Let's swap them over. It'll be a nice surprise for him. Ah, oh, hello, Bob. Oh, hi, Wendy. We're just about ready to put the new shed up. Okay, let's get the stuff unloaded. Hey, Trix. What's up, Molly? We're gonna take Dad's old chest to the dump and give him this one instead. Can you swap them over? Oh, that's easy. Just leave it to me. So that's it, Bob. We'll get back to the yard. Okay, Wendy. See you later. Okay, Skip. That's it. Off you go. And no dawdling, remember? Don't worry, Molly. I'll go straight there. Hello, Bob. I'm just taking a letter to the post office, so I thought I'd drop by and see how you're getting on here. You'd better hurry, Mr. Beasley. It's early closing day. No, I thought that was tomorrow. No, it's today, I think. Tell you what, Bob, can I borrow your phone? Yeah, I'll just call him there at the post office to check. Of course you can, Mr. Beasley. Hello there, uh, Mr. Beasley here. Yeah, do you close early today? In five minutes? No. Oh, okay, thanks. I'd better hurry. I have an important letter to mail. I can give Mr. Beasley a ride, Bob. Good idea, Scoop. <laughs> See you later, Bob.
Now, I'll start with those papers I left in my old chest. Well, well, what's this? It's a present for you, Dad. It's much nicer than your old one. Skip's taking that to the dump. Oh, no! My papers! Uh, Bob's building yard? It's JJ. It's an emergency. Skip's on his way to the dump. He took my old chest with some important papers by mistake. You're closer. Can you stop him? Oh, dear. W well, I'll try, but I'll give Bob a call, too, just in case he sees him first. Phew! <laughs> we made it, Scoop! Just in time! No, heavens to the day, I forgot to give Bob his phone back. Hello? Hello, Bob? Oh, Mr. Beasley, what a surprise. Oh, I see. What? Well, Maybe you can help. Don't worry, Wendy. Yeah, leave it to me. Scoop, take me to the dump as fast as you can. No problem, Mr. Beasley. Hang on. <laughs> to the dump, Mutt, and step on it. Mutt, to the rescue! <laughs> no doubling, no doubling. No doubling, no doubling. Uh, oh. What's going on? Oh, thank goodness we caught you in time, Skip. You have some very important papers in that chest. Oh, do I? Here they are. Oh, that'll be a load off JJ's mind. Oh, good. Well, gotta go. They're closing early at the dump. No dawdling, no dawdling. Thanks so much, Wendy. If I'd lost this stuff, I'd have had to start again. Now, let's see. Do these go in my blue folder, or do they Gotta go, go JJ. Bob's waiting. See you later. Ah, oh, Wendy, just in time. Go ahead, Mr. Beasley. Ta-da! Oh, oh, that's wow. fantastic. What do you think, Mr. Beasley? Oh, very nice, Bob. And there's there's lots of room, too. You know, now I come to think about it, my old chest would fit quite nicely in there. Oh, oh no! no. Morning. Delivery for you, Mr. Bentley. Looks like I caught you just in time. Yes, I'm off to the annual general meeting of building inspectors. They've asked Bernard to give a talk to them, haven't they, dear? Ha <laughs> ha, yes, that's right. Oh, my new train magazine, and <gasps> look, a free gift. How do I look? Very nice, dear, but shouldn't you go now? Oh, my word. Bye. Bernard, aren't you forgetting something? No, I don't think so. <laughs> the hat? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Silly me. Hope it goes well, dear. Bye. <laughs> He's crazy about trains, isn't he? Tell me about it. <laughs> he even has his own train set that he keeps in our dining room. It drives me crazy. I'm always tripping over it. You know, when I was a boy, my uncle had a model railway in his cellar. It was fantastic. A whole room just to play trains in. Aww. Oh, you know, Mr. Dixon, you've given me a really great idea. Okay, team, that was Mrs. Bentley on the phone. She wants us to build a model railway for Mr. Bentley's trains in their shed. Uh, how can you fit a railway into a shed? <laughs> it's not a real railway, Dizzy. It's kind of like a toy one. It's going to be a surprise for him. We're going to have to work really hard to get it finished before he gets home tonight. Can we surprise him? Yes, we can! Uh, I think so, yeah. We'll need Scoop and Muck, but the rest of you can have the day off. Brilliant! I know, Rolly. Let's play trains. Rock and reel! Bye, everybody! Bye. Oh, it's wonderful of you all to help surprise my Bernard. Oh, I hope he likes it. 
You know how particular he is about things. Don't worry. He's gonna love it! But we don't have much time, so let's get going! Now let's see. We'll build a platform about this high and build a track all the way around in a circle. Good. I'll go and get the rest of the materials. Okay, Wendy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Bob's going to enjoy this. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are having fun. This is the best game we've ever played. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> so, well, I need some glue, chicken wire, and mm, a very large bucket. What for, Wendy? Well, I'm going to make some paper mache. Paper what, Shay? Paper mache. It's when you rip up lots of newspaper and mix it around with special glue. It dries hard, and you can make things out of it, like hills for the model railway. Hey, Wendy! I bet Dizzy could make some paper mache in her barrel! Oh, that's a great idea, Muck! I brought the train set over. Great! Now, oh, he doesn't usually let me near them. Here we are. He's had this one since he was little. Wow, he sure looks old. Oh, look out, Mrs. Family! Oh! <gasps> you know, I wish we could be more like a real train. Uh, uh, how do you mean, Scoop? Well, real trains carry people around. Yeah, but uh, we don't have anything to carry people in. Oh, uh, well, Travis can carry things in his trailer. Good thinking! Let's ask Farmer Pickles if we can borrow Travis's trailer. Yeah, come on then. Oh, I've ruined his surprise now. Don't worry, Mrs. Bentley. Bob will fix it, won't you, Bob? I'm sorry, Dizzy. I don't think I can. Look, well, we'll just have to find a store that sells the same kind of train. Come on, let's go and look in the phone book. Oh, oh, thanks, Wendy. Ah, there you go. Phew. Now make sure you look after it, okay? Hey, wait for me. A train needs a conductor, doesn't it, Farmer Pickles? Oh, yes, I suppose it does. Well, off you go, and make sure you bring my dish towel back, you naughty scarecrow. Spot the conductors on the job. Come on, let's go and show Bob. Thanks, Roly. Thanks. Hello, team. What are you doing? We're playing trains, Bob. I'm the engine. Woo -hoo! And I'm Spud the conductor. Uh, do you want to ride anywhere? Well, yes, Spud. Back to the yard, please. I need to make some little buildings in my workshop. Bob! Bob! Look at this. Look! Bernard's drawn a circle around this train. That must mean he likes it. Fantastic! Where can we get it? At the toy store on the other side of town. We'll take you there, Mrs. Bentley. You can be our first passenger. <laughs> oh, how exciting. Thank you. Bing bong, all aboard. This train is about to depart. Bing bong.
It's Mr. Bentley. Quick, hide. Hi, Mr. Bentley. Hi. I'm just looking for some crows. How very peculiar. Oh, oh, quick, quick. He's on his way home. Oh, oh. Here's the new engine, Bob. Great. Thanks. I just need to check that everything works fine. <gasps> oh, it's wonderful. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Woohoo! Hello. I'm home. Barbara? Quick, hide. Where are you? I'm in the shed, dear. Oh, what on earth are you doing in there? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, my word. Good grief. A small hill lovingly fashioned from paper mache with a tunnel and miniature cows. Uh, I... I'm quite overwhelmed. Um, here are your controls, Mr. Bentley. You'll find that... What's that? Oh, I'm so sorry, Bernard. I had a little accident with your old train, so I bought you... It's beautiful. I've had my eye on that model for quite some time. Are you sure you like it? Like it? I... Oh, well, I love it. May I? Be my guest. I think... You might need this, dear. You're right. Chickity pop, chickity pop. Oh, look at that, my word. And here comes the 415 from the station now. Chickity pop, chickity pop, chickity pop. Woo! -woo. <laughs> Shark arr, 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 is scared of nothing. Boom! Ah! Oh, careful! I'm getting my tire wet.
building, Bob. Hmm? Oh, it's a moat for my sandcastle, Muck. Watch. Wow! wow. Ta-da! That's a great job, Bob. What's it for? Well, a castle moat stops the enemy getting into the castle. Or out! <laughs> That's right, Muck. I know. Let's build our own sandcastle and moat, Scoop. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Will you help us, Bob? Of course I will. Oh, great. Uh, but I'm in charge. <laughs> I'll get my pail and shovel. Here's a good spot, Scoop. I'll start building the sandcastle. And I'll dig out the moat. Hmm. Scoop, you start digging at the seashore and then in a circle right around me, just like Bob did. No prob, Muck. I'll do the big bits of the sandcastle, Bob. You do the little bit. Okay. Oh, this is great. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Yes, Bob? Look where the moat goes. It goes right around us, Bob. Oh! Now we're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Muck. I'll fill the moat back in. Thanks, Scoop. It's hard being in charge, isn't it, Bob? <laughs> yes, Muck. It's a surfboard, Dizzy. A surfboard? Brilliant! We didn't know you could surf, Bob. Well, I haven't yet, but I'm gonna try. Won't it be really hard to do? There's only one way to find out, Lofty. Here goes. Are you supposed to surf on the beach, Bob? <laughs> no, Muck. You surf on waves out in the sea. I'm just practicing. Ha-ha. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Bob's a surfing dude! I'm Bob the Surfer! I hope he knows how to do it! Wow! Bob the Surfer! Oh, I can't watch! Hey! Bob's on a wave already! Look! Bob can surf! Whoa. Thanks, everyone. But I think I'll go back to being Bob the Builder. Phew.
Shark arr, 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 is scared of nothing. Ah! Uh, oh, careful, you'll get my tire wet. the job done with help from his can-do crew of course wow brilliant we're going to build a pet's corner we're going to build a pet's, a pet's corner. corner come on team if we don't get on with the job the animals won't have a home to move into even pilcher the cat is a team player look at this you've done a great job pilcher nothing stops this can-do crew not bad weather a pipe's burst outside Mr. Sabatini's shop, and there's ice all over the road. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Not even the mischievous Spud. Look out! Snowball Spud is here! The crew is ready to work. What are we waiting for? Let's get fixing! <laughs> Come on, Wendy. Let's get this job finished. Now that's a constructive team. Hooray! Well done, everyone! Watch Bob the Builder in Teamwork from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Can you join it? Yes, you can! Join the Bob the Builder fan club by calling toll-free 1-888-956-8762. Or join online at www.bobthebuilder.com. Be a part of Bob's crew. Hello, Mr. Beasley. Let's get started on our home safety check. Spud! You should never play in the kitchen. Oh, uh, Mr. Beasley, that saucepan handle should be facing away from us so it can't be knocked over. Now, what's the first thing you do in an emergency? Call you, Bob? <laughs> no, Mr. Beasley. In an emergency, dial 911 and ask for police, fire, or ambulance. We need to look at your blueprints for home safety. Visit me at my home safety website, and you can learn how to make your home a safer place. 